my dear students now that you have learned how to calculate total sales and total purchase and how to make an income statement using single entry incomplete records lastly we have to discuss some other points uh, basically in a single entry question uh, when we are making a statement of financial position that is balance sheet we are not being given with the figure of opening capital okay if the capital figure is not given in a single entry scenario how can we calculate that opening capital the opening capital can be calculated using a simple equation and as you may be aware that capital is equal to assets minus liability if we need to calculate the opening capital it is also known as opening net assets capital is also refers to as net assets if we can uh, how can we calculate opening capital will be uh, writing opening assets and there will be all sorts of asset whether there are non current asset or current assets will be adding up all of this in order to calculate net assets and if we have some uh, maybe non current assets we need to write net book value of non current asset and not the original cost if you are also given the original cost of non current asset and if you are also given the accumulated depreciation also known as provision for depreciation we need to deduct the provision from depreciation figure from the cost figure in order to calculate the net book value figure okay so if we have all of the uh, net asset value or that is total asset value total asset value or uh, the, these are non current and current and if we deduct the total liabilities that is uh, at the start of the year opening liabilities means my dear student liability that start of the year and opening assets also means that assets at the start of the year if we deduct assets and liabilities we we are left with the figure of capital that is opening capital so this is basically a method to calculate opening capital in a single entry environment okay uh, lastly how can we calculate profit whenever uh, we cannot make an income statement of where, where whether we are not required to make an income statement or whether we cannot make an income statement due to the limitation that we do not have uh, sales and purchase values and we cannot make a debtor account slca or creditor account so now there is a shortcut method to calculate profit whenever we cannot make an income statement of whether where, where we are not uh, required to make one so as you may be aware uh, whenever we make a statement of financial position that is balance sheet there is a capital section and how we calculate capital the figure uh, the value is or uh, uh, the format is opening capital then we have additional capital invested during the year whenever we invest the further capital into the business our capital would go up whenever there is a profit whenever wherever we are earning profit that profit increases our capital and if there is a loss the loss would reduce our capital then whenever we draw goods or cash out of the business the drawing reduces the capital finally we have closing capital so i hope you are aware of this equation where this is used when we are making a statement of financial position that is balance sheet now the opening capital uh, would be given in the question or we can calculate opening capital how uh, we need to deduct opening liabilities from opening assets in order to make uh, calculate opening capital for example we have opening capital that is 100000 now in the question it is mentioned that we have invested further capital into the business in this year that is 50000 now the profit is not there we uh, we need to calculate profit in the first place uh, now the drawings are there whether the, the drawings are on cash form or in the goods form we need to add all of these in order to calculate total drawing that is 120000 for example now the closing capital value is not given we need to calculate closing capital how for example we have uh, assets given at the start of the year uh, end of the year total assets and total liability if we deduct total liability from total assets we are left with the figure of closing capital now let's suppose total assets are 600000 and liability the 150000 and the total capital is 450000 now my dear students whenever we add opening capital additional investment and profit and deduct drawing we are uh, left with the figure of closing capital now what if the closing capital is already given or we have already calculated closing capital and we do not have the profit figure can we calculate this profit figure yes we need to do we need to do reverse working we will be starting with the closing capital we will be starting from the bottom and the figure that drawing that we used to deduct normally we need to add this up and we need to subtract these two items that we usually add these okay now we are left with the figure for profit for the year 
now there is a logic behind this as well uh, let's suppose this is your business and you have 450000 capital at the end of the year and you have drawn money out of your business worth 120000 okay if we do not have uh, done drawing this year our capital would be higher or lower our capital would be higher because if we have not drawn this money out of our business so if we add up this the we are left with the capital of may, maybe 570000 okay 570 capital we have at the end of the year if we do not draw anything from the business okay in this year we have 570 capital at the end of the year and at the start of the year we have capital of 150 including the investment so the capital has increased from 150 to 570 now why is this capital going up is that some sort of magic no it is basically a profit for the year okay and um, on the other hand if this, this figure is in negative this means this is the loss for the year so my dear students i hope i was able to uh, communicate with you and i was able to explain you the concepts underlying single entry in complete records thank you